there is a lot of talk about like not going to gym um, because of this coronavirus but i think uh, as long as we avoid like more than 20 people at once it's good and the gym that i go to we hardly get like 10 or 15 people for a class so that's one of the reasons i'm continuing my gym schedule and my run to run running especially really good during this time how much water I need during the run because the temperature right now is 43 and I think it's gonna be 43 to 45 for the rest of the afternoon so let's see I'm almost there talk to you guys in a while I'll talk to you guys soon see ya la, 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 la. okay so I got my belt filled in the water in the couple of bottles and we are on our way to Heimstraya now. I love Heimstraya especially during this time of the year when the sun is out, temperature is above 40. It's really good. So let's see how the run turns out to be excited. Yay. See you. So we are finally here at Heimstraya. Um, I'll stretch a little bit before starting my run make sure I'm hydrated before the run and then um, since I feel good uh, we'll start to run okay um, I'll keep you guys posted you know during the run uh, to see how it's going okay let's do this So it is very important to use the right equipment for the run. That's
that's why I'm using this A6 shoes. I'm not sure if you can see those or not clearly, but I'll, I'm sure I'll talk more about this in the future run. So these shoes have been like very good. I have ran 170 miles uh, with those shoes starting in January. Uh, so far, no issues with those. But since um, there is half marathon coming up in April, I think I'll buy one more pair so that I can get used to it. Um, I don't see any wear and tear on those right now. So let's see okay just uh, now getting ready for run i know i thought i'll be able to record something during the run but it was so good and didn't take that camera out yeah the run was really good uh, i remember the last time i oh so this distance i i did 13.1 uh, miles which is half uh, marathon so last time i did this um i took like two hours 37 minutes or so uh, today i could finish it in two hours 29 minutes which is uh, an improvement of roughly eight minutes so i'm i'm happy with that yay so i'm just uh walking to my car right now uh I'll, I'll go to my ear after this, get some ice uh, for the recovery and uh, some Kit Kat maybe. Uh, sort of become the tradition now after the long run and just enjoying this uh, view. Uh, how beautiful this is. Just imagine, just imagine having all the flowers come up in spring and then you know summer with high temperatures so it's gonna be really good i'm happy with the run my left knee and right knee is struggling a little bit but i think uh, once i stretch it and you know take a proper ice bath uh, it'll be all good so fingers crossed uh, and some water i finished everything that i got see these two small bottles thank you manju for lending me this belt it was really helpful uh yeah so yes i'll keep you guys posted bye bye Stretches. Oh my nose. <laughs> Not good. Next stop, Maya. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Oh man, recovery time. Oh. Oh. Oh, it is cool. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. I don't know how much time it will take to melt this size. Uh, let's see. Uh, so it took good five minutes for ice to melt. So I think I'm good with the recovery. I'll get ready. I'll take a quick shower now and then fix me some sandwich and coffee or maybe a tea. And also I have to finish up that uh, Kit Kat. So, see you.